welcome to the Jazz Museum. Hello, welcome. Come on, clap your hands. Yeah. It's a nice space to be in. All right, erase the, the drinking moment. Um, but yes, uh, welcome. Thank you for being here on the behalf of New Orleans Jazz National Historical Park. Um, we're grateful for this partnership between the State Museum, New Orleans Jazz Museum, and we're grateful that we get to have our Arrowhead Jazz Band here on Tuesdays at 2 p.m. The mission of our park is to instill an appreciation for New Orleans jazz music, the musicians, the rich history and culture that makes up this wonderful genre. Um, on today, we have um, great musicians that are gonna play with us, and we hope that this set gives you a nice warm feeling. The theme that I came up for this month is a romantic love, and I find myself uh, just enjoying songs about love. A lot of American music talks about love and romantic love, and so these songs are gonna go through the phases that you may experience in a romantic love. So, without further ado, I'm gonna call up the band. On drums, we have Peter Varnado. Uh, upright bass, Carrie Lewis Sr. And guitar, Dominic Minix. Uh, my name is Jay Perdue, um, and so uh, if you haven't noticed, I'm the only person wearing a uniform, but uh, Mr. Carrie Lewis always also has the arrowhead gear. So we're the park rangers. Um, and these other two gentlemen are uh, just regular old musicians. I'm just kidding. <laughs> They're great. They are really, really great um, musicians who travel all over the world. And I'm definitely learning a lot from these two. So they are special, special people. Give it up for them. <laughs> all right, so just like in any uh, old love, love story, maybe your love story, starts out really nice and butterfly, so I think this uh, song captures that. First song is Lullaby of Birdland. That's what I always hear when you sigh. Never in my Berlin could there be ways to reveal in a phrase how I feel. Have you ever heard two turtle doves bill and coo when they love? That's the kind of magic music we make with our lips when we kiss. And there's a weepy cry that's how I cry on my pillow if you should tell me farewell and goodbye lullaby of Berlin whisper low kiss me sweet then we'll go flocking high in Berlin high in the sky up above all because we're in love <laughs> Thank you. 
Relationships start. It's all butterflies. I'm like, oh my god, you're my little birdie. I'm your little coo, I guess. And we're all happy. And it just continues to get happy for the first three months or so, right? <laughs> so I have three songs that talk about how happy, you know, the love is in the beginning of the relationship. All right. So the next song is titled Skylark. Thank you. 
are great and then you start noticing red flags but you're like no those red flags aren't there you still want to keep on going right and so you're like oh it's still a love song so we've got another long love song for you titled fly me to the moon Thank you. 
fingers like a shoot for the right heart. Just hold my head. Mm, just kiss me. Fill my heart with song. You are all I hope for and all I adore. In other words, kiss me. In other words, I love you. Thank you. Beautiful. Peter Barnado, right? Yes. We usually don't give the drummer some until it's like the last song, but nope. No, we got to spread the love across the stage, all right? Just like in that romantic relationship, you're spreading the love and giving the work to one another, right? You wash the dishes, I take out the clothes. Uh, you pay for this date, I'll pay for the next one, right? But then they don't pay for the date, all right? And so you're like, man, what happened? You were all good, it was all good, and you notice that they've changed. Those red flags that you ignored before, they were already there. But you think they change, and so they change, and this is the next song. <laughs> Guess what? It's You've Changed. <laughs> All right. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to feature Dominic on the guitar. We're going to do this lovely little duet, and yeah, we'll just do it.
the sparkle in your eye is long gone. Your smile is just a careless yawn. Oh, you're breaking my heart because you changed. of songs when it's just the acoustic instrument. Well, it's not fully acoustic because, anyway, I'm not going to get into that. But um, yeah, I just really love that intimate um, setting with songs because I think it really brings out the rawness and the just intimacy of what the lyrics actually mean. Just, I'm pretty sure most of us have experienced some type of romantic love at some point in our lives. And we all like listening to song, songs that uh, Help us during those trying seasons when people switch up. And so we're going to break away from the music and we're all going to share our experiences of terrible love, right? <laughs> no, but uh, on a serious note, this is the time where we educate. So just like in the beginning, I mentioned our mission, which is to entertain and still an appreciation for New Orleans jazz music and the musicians. Well, you've come to the right spot to also be educated about um, this rich history. That's what makes our park so different and our program so different because you don't just go to sit and listen, which is great, we appreciate that. But we also encourage you to ask questions about us, about the park, um, and just about New Orleans in general. So uh, please raise your hand or just shout out a question. I know someone has a question or I'll start telling you my personal love story. Y'all don't want to hear that. I s all right, good, good. Yes. It's about 10 years old now. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's a pretty good time. All right, ask us anything about the park, about our careers. Maybe where, where's a good spot to eat at? I got a few of them, I know. <laughs> How long, what, who, who? Uh, park ranger thing for about a year, a year and a couple of months, a year and three months or so. So it's fairly new, but musician things, oh boy. Yeah, for a long time, I would say 16 years, yeah. Yeah, all right, oh, you over? Yes. Good evening, and thank you for inviting us. And I asked him there, when he said he was performing, I asked him, what do you play? And he said the bass, and I asked, what, stand-up, or he said both. You know, so I, I like Carrie to answer, uh, what do you prefer and why? Uh, to really be honest, I don't have a preference. Um, <coughs> now, I do have a preference of what I use uh, for any particular genre or uh, per any particular presentation, because I'll give you a secret, trying to play a funk groove on this with a lot of octave back and forth slapping, 
it can work, but I would need a lot of Bengay afterwards. <laughs> but I, I, to really be honest with you, I just, I don't have a preference and I've, I've been always gravitated to bottom instruments, um, a bottom feeder, um, low frequency. Um, so whether it's bass, uh, acoustic bass, electric bass, my tuba, um, it doesn't matter. I'm, my goal is to have fun on it and make you have fun while I'm on it. All right, question in the front. Yes. He asked uh, about some of my influences and sure, uh, the question was, who are some of my influences and where else do I play besides here? Um, early influences are Shannon Powell, Herlin Riley, Jason Marcellus. Um, I studied with all three of those uh, drummers. Um, other influences would be like younger guys with like uh, Marcus Gilmore, Justin Brown, um, Chris Dave, um, uh, Makai McRaven, um, well, just to name a few. And uh, the other places, the places that I play are Snug Harbor, Royal Frenchman, um, the Jazz Playhouse. Pretty much, I've been, uh, I've, I've played at every jazz venue here. Um, so, yeah, currently it would be the Roy Frenchman, Snug Harbor, uh, the Playhouse, and uh, Spotted Cat. Uh, yeah, that would be it. Cool. And another note, they, these musicians, all of them, travel outside of New Orleans because they're just that good. They're just that great to be able to get called for festivals, I don't know, private events, in any event, I, these, these gentlemen are just great. I think we have time for 15 more questions. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maybe one or two. Oh yes, I see. Oh hey! Yes. And I was wondering if possibly, what are the best spots for live music? Best spots for live music in a Snug Harbor? <laughs> um, Spider Cat, uh, all of, most of them are on Frenchman. Uh, so Frenchman Street, if you like go out the front of Jazz Museum and go down like a block or two, you'll catch the whole, the whole strip of jazz and all, all the other genres as well. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't know any other. Uh, yes. Hi. Mahogany Jazz Club. By, you said Bayou Bar? In the Pontchartrain Hotel. And so th that's away, stepping away from Frenchman Street if any of y'all are not from New Orleans. Yes. Yes, yes. Um, I encourage you to take the streetcar. And um, it's a really nice experience. You don't have to worry about parking or parking meter maid trying to ticket you because I've had my own personal experiences with that, so I'm not going to talk about it. Um, but yeah, so it's the city is filled with a lot of great music, and we're going to get continue with some more songs. Also, if you're here for the west of, rest of the week, stop by 419 Decatur, where our park um, is housed, and you can catch uh, free shows. Not all shows um, outside of the park are free, so we like to give that um, gift to you of free music. Next song is Someday, no it's not, it's Cry Me A River. You gotta get back to this love story, right? So they've changed, they switched up, and now you're feeling some type of way, right? And so here comes the grief, and it's Cry Me A River.
Cause I cried a river over you
I told me love was too plebeian and told me that you were through with me and now you say you're sorry. Well, go ahead and prove, prove that you are. I want you to cry me a river. Go ahead and cry me a river. Cause I cry a river over you. All right. So after so many tears, we didn't cry over them changing up. We tell them, you know what? You're gonna be sorry. You get them, you get that confidence. You're like, you know, forget them. They lost out on some, you know, lost out on the best person. So this is what we're gonna tell them. Someday you'll be sorry. Another song. 
this. So I can keep that going. And we're just going right out. Come on, clap those hands right there. Forget this is the jazz museum, right? All right, I'm kidding. So the next song is after you've gone. So you know how we go through these phases. You get that confidence, and then you're like, oh my God, I still, I still want him around. Should I send a late night text? Let them know that I'm still thinking about him? No, you don't do it. Don't send that text. You better hold on. Do not do it. Make them miss you. You don't miss them. So after you've gone and you have already cried, you gotta remember to say, you'll be sorry. All right, so the next song is After You've Gone. After you've gone and left me crying, after you've gone, there's no denying. You'll feel blue, you'll feel sad. You'll miss the cutest ranger you ever had. Oh, oh, there come a time. <laughs> now don't forget it. There'll come a time, now watch, you're gonna regret it. Someday, when you grow lonely, your heart will break like mine, and you'll want me only. Yes, that's after you've gone, after you've gone away. that you ever had there will come a time now don't forget it there will come a time when you'll regret it 
to an end at some point. We can't stay in the sad moment for too long. And so after you realize, you know what? That person was terrible. That person was not good. And you realize there will never be another person like that ever again because you go on to better or you just get in the season where you love yourself. And that person, almost, although it may be thrilling, you realize, you know what? There will never be another you. So last song is, guess what? Yeah, yep, yep, you got it. <laughs>
Phillips on guitar. <laughs> Carrie Lewis Sr. on upright bass. <laughs> and Peter Vonardo on drums. <laughs> I'm Jay Perdue, thank you for coming through and we will see you next time. I think the Jazz Museum has a performance at 5 p.m., no 5 p.m. performance, but however, we'll be back next week here at 2 p.m. and visit our site down the street at 419 Decatur for some more free shows at 2 p.m. Visit the website at nolajazzmuseum.org and nps.gov backslash jazz. See you next time. <laughs>